Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to create a custom collection class for a model. So now if you see here in the browser here, I have created this one here. So here are the list of all the products. So all the products are here in the database. So there are 20 products and some of them are draft, some of them are published and some of them are scheduled. So these are the statuses of these products. And here in the browser, we have shown these in the different tabs. So in the published tab will only show the published products and the schedule will show the schedules and similarly for the drafts one here. Yeah? And now if we go here in the controller, home controller, then we are getting all the products from here. So I am using this query because when I click here, it will take me to that method. So it will auto complete as well. So if I don't use this, let's say, and if I just say get here, it is not auto completing for me. Now, if I say query here and get, so it is auto completing for me. So I will be using a query. So using a query here and not using it is the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Now I am getting all the products here and I am passing the draft products, published products and scheduled products here yeah? and I am displaying it here in the view. So if you look here inside the welcome.blade.vsb, so here are the list of tabs here. So I am using Laravel components here. So if you look in the components here in the btn tab here, it is simply showing whatever that is in the button. It is simply, there is a slot and simply merging the class. There is nothing else and these are the components here so this header product header is showing this title price quantity views status and this product list so if we go here in the list here so it is simply looping for each products and showing their detail so here i am passing the published products scheduled products and draft products here and i am using alpine js to add this functionality when we click here and it will show the respective products now if we look here in the controller you can see here as i have said before we are passing these variables but here if we look here we are doing this filter here yeah and here as well in all of this we are doing filters and wherever we want to only show the draft products from this products collection then we always have to do this filter yeah and similarly for published and schedules so we always have to do this now let's see how to extract this into the specific class here so for that if you look here in uh, i am getting the products here now if i click here it will take me to its definition here yeah and if I, it is returning a builder it is getting a model and it is returning a new collection for that model with the list of all the models that have been got from by using the products get now if i click here look at here it is returning this new collection here and it is this model which is illuminate database eloquent model yeah so it is returning a new collection and if we go here so we are getting it from the product so let me go here so it is also the product is also the extending model so it is same model illuminate database eloquent model it is the same model as this now what we can do is we can simply copy this here and paste it in the products model here now you can see here it is returning a new collection from here yeah so if i also so you let me comment this first and if i go here in the tinker well if i say product get if you see here it is returning a illuminate database eloquent collection which is this illuminate database eloquent collection and it is this one yeah so it is returning a collection now let us create a collection that extends this illuminate database eloquent collection for that okay now if i go here inside the app directory and let me create here one slash and let us create product collection yeah here and let me create the class here okay i have created the class now let us extend illuminate database eloquent collection now we have extended this product collection with this eloquent collection now we haven't defined anything here it means that this collection is the same collection here yeah now what we can do is we can copy this and simply paste it here and let us import that on the top here now if i go here in the tinkerwell now you can closely look at here now if i run this 
now you can see here it is returning this app collections and product collection now it is returning our collection yeah that we have created this product collection class here okay now if we go here in home controller and see now we want to get the draft products yeah so in the we are inside the product collection now we can simply say drafts here yeah because we only want to get the drafts from the products collection and now if i say here this then this is this means that it will refer to the product collection yeah so now what we can do is we can simply just copy this here and just paste it here like this and we can return this yeah now if we do it like this that this will get the products collection so all the data from the products and we will be filtering that and we will be just getting the drafts from there so for drafts i have done this now let me do similar thing for the published and scheduled okay i have added it for the published and scheduled as well now if i go here in the home controller then i can simply replace this with drafts like this so this is the same method that we have defined here yeah and for the published we can just replace it with this and for the scheduled we'll be replacing this with this now all of this should give us the same results now if i go here in the browser so in the published schedules and drafts they are giving only their data yeah? now if i refresh here now you can see here we are getting only published in the published tab in the schedules we are only getting schedules and in the draft we are only getting the drafts here so if i go here in the tinker well also if i do here so so currently we are getting published drafts and everything yeah now let me only show the drafts here so if i do it like this so you can share i am only getting the drafts here draft draft here as well the draft as well so in this way we can create custom collection for a model and we can just use it like this here at shown yeah so currently i have only shown for the filter yeah but here can be a very complex logic that can go inside this method which will very much clean our controller as well so if you have seen here we were like this before yeah and after we are like this so it is much more cleaner so that's how you create a custom collection for a model so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye